Hi everyone, this is Sia Jodi. In this video, I would like to review uh, coordinate geometry, some formulas, uh, the formulas, and explain some old questions. Okay, let's do it. Uh, let me start with the distance formula, which is the distance formula is square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. Okay, distance between the two points. We use this formula and the midpoint formula. Midpoint formula is m is equal to x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2. This is the midpoint formula. And another one is the formula. The formula is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. And then equation of the line. Equation, e -Q -U -A -T -I -O, equation of the line is y minus y1 equal to m x minus x1. This is how to find equation of the line. And there's another one. This is called uh, this is called point slope form. Point slope form. Another one is y equal to mx plus c. This is called slope intercept form. In this case, m is the uh, gradient. C is y intercept. Okay, this is how we find equation of the line. And then, if the two lines are parallel, if line 1 parallel line 2, slope of line 1 and equal to slope of line 2. M is the slope, right? Slope of line 2. If line 1 and line 2 parallel, the slope are the same. And if line 1 perpendicular line 2, if this line 1 is minus 1 by line 2, which is called negative reciprocal, if the lines are perpendicular. Okay, these are the formulas. And there's an area of triangle formula. Area of triangle is A equal to half modulus x1, y1, h2, y2, h3, y3, x1, y1. This is how to find area of triangle. The next step would be like, let me use another color. And you have to times this way, multiply this way, okay? So it would be uh, x1, y2 plus x2, y3 plus x3, y1. And then minus, you have to times another way, second way, right? Then like h2, y1 plus h3, y2 plus h1, y3. And then you have to solve those things. That's how to find area of triangle. You can also find for the area of square, area of quadrilateral. Okay? If there is a quadrilateral, it will be four sides, right? It will be like h1, y1, h2, y2, h3, y3, and it will be h4, y4. Okay? And then h1, y1 again. Then you do this way with the same way. You can find any area. Okay? Quadrilateral, rhombus, and uh, square, trapezoid. Okay? And then another one is the ratio formula. Ratio formula is and there's a line and point A and point B is here. And there's another point, it's not a midpoint. If it is midpoint, you can use this formula. So visual formula is like uh it should be like here C or here, like not in the middle, okay? So it will be this one and this two, that's R1, R2. Then here is H1, Y1, and this one is H2, comma, Y2. So we wanna find C here. So how to find C is R1 X2 plus R2 X1. It's like opposite. They go opposite. R1 to the H2 and R2 R1. Okay, let me use. R1 goes to the H2. Okay. And R2 R2 goes back to X1. Okay. This one is the crossing. So R1 H2 plus R2 H1 by R1 plus R2. That's how to find the ratio formula. And then another one will be like R1 Y2 here we go. 
R1Y2 plus R2Y1 over R1 plus R2. That's the ratio formula. And another important point is if you are perpendicular by set R, always pass through the midpoint. If you are finding the equation of perpendicular line, you have to find the midpoint first. And then if a line is on the x axis, y equal to 0. And if a line pass through the y axis, x is equal to 0. Those are very important. You have to keep in mind. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna do some full questions. I'm gonna explain some full question problems. Okay. So let me erase this part. I will leave it here. I can reference. So this exam, in this example, the points A and B have coordinates two comma nine and ten comma three. So I'm gonna first. I'm gonna write down A is equal to two comma nine. B is equal to ten comma three. And the point M is the midpoint of AB. Number A, find the coordinates of M. So you have to find M. They said M is the midpoint of AB, so we just have to use the midpoint formula. So which is M is equal to uh, x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2. Okay, so it will be x1 y1 x2 y2. So x1 is 2 plus 10 by 2 comma 9 plus 3 by 2. So which is 12 by 2 comma 12 by 2 which is 6 comma 6. Now we get that value of m. And number b is the length of ab. So length of ab. So we have to find ab. The same formula. h2 minus h1 squared plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. Okay. So h2 minus h1. So this is h1 y1 h2 y2. So h2 minus h1 is so 2 h1, we are going to write h1, y1, h2, y2 to make it more clear. So h2 minus h1, so 10 minus 2, square root of 10 minus 2, the whole square, plus y2 minus y1 will be 3 minus 9, the whole square. Then it will be 10 minus 2 is 8, 8 square plus 3 minus 9 is minus 6 square. So which is 8 square is 64, 64 plus 36. Which is equal to 100, which is equal to 10. So now we have 10, 10 with number B. And then number C. Before number C, they, they say uh, the line L is perpendicular by set down AB. Here can be perpendicular by set down. It's very important. I'm going to write that down. Perpendicular B I S E C T U R. Perpendicular by set down. So perpendicular by set down AB means let's say here is A, here is B. So it must be perpendicular and it must, it must bisect, so which pass through the midpoint. So this has to be midpoint. Always pass through the midpoint. So perpendicular bisect, we always use the midpoint when we find the equation of the line. This is very important, okay? So I'm um, going to put this down here. So y minus equation of the line here, y minus y1 equal to m x minus x1. Okay, so y minus y1. So h what is h1 y1? Yeah, h1 comma y1 is we use the midpoint here. Okay, so midpoint is we find it here 6 comma 6, which is 6 comma 6. So y minus y1, y minus 6 equal slope of. Okay, here is we don't have the slope, so I'm just gonna write down as x minus x1. So we need to find the slope of slope of AB first, okay? And then perpendicular slope will be negative reciprocal. Okay, so now I let me find the slope somewhere. Where can I find? I'm gonna find here, okay? So I'm gonna put the here. Slope of AB is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 equal to um, x, y2 minus y1, so 3 minus 9 by x2 minus x1 is 10 minus 3 which is minus 9 by, uh, minus, I mean, sorry, minus 6, minus 6 by, uh, 3 minus 9 by, 10 minus 2, actually, sorry, 10 minus 2, so which is 8, so minus 3 by 4. So the slope of a particular line will be negative reciprocal, right? So it will be like, you're going to uh, turn upside down the fraction, so 4 by 3, right? And then change the sign. So it will be like y or oh, it is 6, okay? 6 comma 6. So y minus 6 equal to, we have to do the reciprocal thing. So 1 by minus 3 by 4. x minus 6. And y minus 6 is equal to 
4 by 3 minus and 8 minus 6. And then I'm gonna do this. 6 equal to. Uh, okay, there's one important. They say you have to be careful. Right? A, B, and C are integer. So we are gonna want, we want with integer. So we don't want fraction. So I will just, if you multiply like this, you are gonna 4 by 3 x, right? That will be fraction. So I'm gonna times with 3 here. 3 y minus uh, 6 3 18. 18 equal to 4 x. 4x minus 24 and then you're gonna get 3y the one with the form is a y only y only y is here x square root 4x minus 24 plus 18 then it will be 3y equal to 4x minus 24 plus 18 minus 24 minus 6 that's the equation of the perpendicular bisector okay next one is d and uh, before D, they say one D lies on L has coordinate D comma two. Okay, so now the, the, the next thing is like if a point lies on a line or if a line passes through a point, uh, we can always substitute the point into the equation. Okay, so now if the point is D comma two, so number D, which is D comma two line or Lines on which lines on L, right? Lines on L. This is sine, right? Sine L is perpendicular by Zeta. So I'm gonna write down here equation equation of line L is here. Okay, so lines on L. So always if a point lines on a line, you can substitute. So this is x and this is y. You can substitute y to the lines L. Line L is here. We just found it, sine L. So 2 into y and x into t. Okay, always do that. So like 3 times 2 equal to 4t minus 6. So it is 6. This minus, if you move it, it will be plus 6 equal to 4t equal to 12 by 4t. So t is equal to t is equal to 3. So that's how we find. Always always remember if a point lies on a line, you can substitute the point into the equation of that line. Very important. Okay. So now we have to do number E. Number E is the point E lies on L and such that dm is to m is 1 is to 2. Okay, I don't have to put space anymore. I'm gonna erase this. So I'm gonna dm and m e. dm is to m is 1 is to 2. So let's say D is here, M is here, E is here, the ratio is 1 is to 2, okay? And then we have the coordinates of point D, right? Coordinates of point D is T comma 2, which is point D, T comma 2, which is T is 3, so 3 comma 2, yeah? And then M is, uh, and we know M here, M is here, 6 comma 6. So M is here, 6 comma 6. And E, E is we don't know yet. We have to find the coordinates of E, that's the that's what we are trying to find so i'm gonna put x comma y okay okay so now we have to use the ratio formula because it's not midpoint anymore so i'm gonna write down the ratio formula first m is equal to r1 x2 plus r2 x1 by r1 plus r2 comma r1 y2 plus r2 y1 by r1 plus r2 that's the ratio formula okay now and we know this this is 6 comma 6, so I'm gonna write this 6 comma 6 here. And then this is R1 and this is R2. So R1 is 2, so 1 times x, so 1x, so this is x. R2, x1, this is x1, this is y1, okay? This is x2, this is y2. So R2, x1, so it's like 2, 2, 3, 2 times 3, right? 2 times 3, so this is 6. R1 plus R2 is 1 plus 2 is 3. And then R1, Y2, R1, Y2 is 1 into Y, so 1, Y. And then R2, Y1 is like 2 into 2, so it's 4. And R1 plus R2 is 1 plus 2, so it is 3. Now we can equalize them, this and this. This is X, this is Y. So X is equal to the X. And then Y is equal to that Y. So it's like X plus 6 by 3 is equal to 6. And y plus 4 by 3 is equal to 6. 
and then you get x plus 6 equal to 18 and x is equal to and you separate it you will get 4 and here also y plus 4 is equal to 18 and 1 is equal to if you separate it you get you get 14 okay so the coordinates of point e here we get it now 4 comma 14 okay that's number e is coordinate of point e 12 comma 14 and then now we have to find number f the area of height a b c d so Let's, uh, I, I, uh, as I explained earlier, you have to find, use the modulus, modulus formula. There are many ways though, yeah, like, I'm, I'm just gonna use the formula, okay? So you can also find it with another way, like uh, it would be, uh, I think it would be a square. Yeah, it would be a square. We have the, we have a b, right? But uh, using formula is easier, so I will just use formula, which is uh, easier to memorize, I mean, is then formula is area of height A, B, A, E, B, D. I'm gonna area of height A, E, B, D is equal to half into H1, Y1, right? H1, Y1, A. I'm, I'm not right anymore. You have to start with A. So A, A is here, 2, 9. 2, 9, 2, 9. You have to write in order. One is D, okay. So E is 12, 14. So E is 12, 14. And then A, E, B. B is, yeah, 10, 3. B is 10, 3. And A, E, B, D. D is, D is, yeah, D is, yeah, 4, 3, 4, 3, 2, I mean. 3, 2. And then you have to write the first one again, always 2, 9. And then half into, you have to times these. So 28 plus 12, 3 is 36 plus 10, 2 is 20 plus 3, 9 is 27. Then you have to times the other way, okay? I'm gonna use with blue. So you have to times it like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. Okay? So it will be minus uh, 108, it will be 140, and then 339, then 4. Okay, so not like blue. So you're gonna add time with calculator, and you will get. Negative 150. So the modulus, so negative will be removed. So half times 150 equal to 75 units squared. Okay? That's how you use the coordinate formulas to solve coordinate problems. There are virtual formulas, so you have to remember all the formula first. And then you need to understand the questions the important you have to mem memorize important points to like perpendicular bisector when you find perpendicular bisector you always use the midpoint in this problem midpoint is given but sometimes midpoint, midpoints are not given so you have, you don't have to you have to be careful not to confuse so you have to find the midpoint first you have to be careful not to forget about that so that's the perpendicular bisector and then when when a point lies on an L, lies on equation, lies on a uh, point, a point lies on a line or a curve, you can always substitute the point into the curve or line, okay? Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.